What's going on, everybody? Ryan the Mighty Quinn here on the Cornerman underscore MMA. You know the drill. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Please comment below. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of agreeing and disagreeing with this one. Really looking forward to putting it out there. Uh, Bellator 289 tonight. Main event was the interim bantamweight title between Rufian Stotts, Danny Sabatello. Uh, was not able to watch it live. I was at a Christmas party uh that i <laughs> i i was getting texts from all my friends about the fights both in fighting and out of fighting everyone was watching it as you know danny's a buddy of mine so i was really into this fight rofian and i have a lot of mutual friends as well i saw eve edwards was in his corner i knew they worked with him Eve is a good friend of mine and uh uh so i had to come home <laughs> i got home at about quarter to quarter to two in the morning, watched the fight, gave my assessment. Now, um, as you know, I, I watch these fights on mute a lot. I purposely watch this one on mute. I haven't spoken with two people that I really would like to ask their opinion on. I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'll probably tweet about it, is um, um, John McCarthy, who is commentating, who um, even though I value his opinion above all when it comes to the scoring and what he's saying, I really wanted to get the my own opinion on the fight, so that's why I kept it on mute. I'm going to text him tomorrow, see what he felt. I'm probably not going to watch it again with the commentary. You know, I I saw the fight, I saw what I needed to see, and then of course Mike Mazzulli. You know, Mike is you know he's very good at defending his guys, but you know if it was a split decision anyway, maybe he felt the same way as the one judge who gave the fight to Danny. Uh, the one judge that gave the fight to Danny gave Danny all five rounds. Uh, that was questionable. Personally, me, I had Danny winning the fight. I had Danny winning, Danny Sabatello won rounds, one, four, and five in my book. I'm going to break them down in a second. Um, I feel that round four was the close one. And uh, we'll get into that in a second. We're just going to break it down round by round. So round one, uh, now remember how we have to score this. What we're supposed to be looking for with MMA scoring, that's very important to keep in mind here, um, which is why I think the fight was a lot closer than people might give it credit. However, it wasn't as, and, and it wasn't towards the victory that the one judge that gave it all to Danny. However, I was confident that Danny won this fight going in based on what we know, what we've learned on this channel from judges scoring. Now, remember, we judge each round based on what we see more of out of wrestling or sorry, grappling and striking. And then we break it down from there. What was more damaging, dominant duration within the wrestling or striking, whatever happens more of in that round, that is what we are scoring for the majority of this fight. Every round was based on grappling for the majority of this fight. Uh, so now that we know that going forward, we're going to base our scoring based on what happened more in each round. You know, go back to my video with John McCarthy. He explains it thoroughly. Usually striking gets gets uh, scored more because it usually happens more. That wasn't the case tonight. So round one, I had Danny Sabatello winning on wrestling dominance. Now, a lot of people are saying I saw, oh, he took him down. He didn't do anything with the takedowns. Not really. He didn't do any striking after the takedowns. It's a big difference. He did have some damaging positions, some threatening positions. He was he was moving. He had the back a few times, the seatbelt position. Um, in this first round, now you can win striking off your back, as we've seen a lot of. Um, you can win rounds off your back with striking and submission attempts. Rufian did not do that here. He did not do that in round one. Danny won round one. I don't think that was disputable, was round one. Round two and three, uh, fairly similar. Okay, we'll break it down round by one. We'll stick like that. Uh, round two, I had Stouts Rennen by striking dominance. Okay, he defended some takedowns. Danny took some shots that were that were sprawled on. I think Danny hit a late takedown in that round. Um, but now that being said, keep this in mind too. Rufian landed more strikes. That's what we had to score on. There was more striking than anything in that round based on Rufian. So Rufian won round two. Now, even though Rufian had the threatening knee bar in round two, you can't you don't score that because 
this is now a striking scoring round. So Rufian won round two. Again, didn't look like it was very debatable at any point from anybody. Round three. This is where things get close, these, these middle rounds right here. I had Rufian winning again round three. I had him winning round three because he showed duration. He was more depicting where the fight was going than Danny. Uh, he, uh, the, the grappling was kind of a wash. Rufian kind of took him down once and Danny reversed it. Neither really did anything with either position. Giving it, let's just stick to like wrestling score, even though we're not supposed to do that. We give the takedown to, to Rufian and the reversal to Danny, if that's the round I'm thinking of. Now, I had Rufian winning more, landing more strikes there. So I gave round three, or yeah, round three to Rufian. So now we're 2 1, Rufian going into the fourth round. Fourth round was tricky. Fourth round was tricky to score, but based on judges' criteria, I gave it to Danny Sabatello. Now, why did it get tricky? So Danny took down Rufian. Uh, oh, and in round three, Rufian also had a, a threatening choke at one point, too. But again, it was more of a stand-up ish, so to speak. The duration, duration is really funny to score. I did a duration video too on here. You could watch uh, on how to score that. But I had I had the round going with Stotts momentum. Okay, so Stotts wins round three. Round four gets tricky. I had Danny winning by wrestling dominance. Danny took him down. He controlled him. He had the riding time. Now, why is it tricky? Rufian Stotts had a late escape. He landed some strikes. Uh, actually, he 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 did bust um, Danny open, which technically could be considered damage. I don't think it was enough to give him the round because it was a, a straight right. Because Danny, now remember what John McCarthy said: scoring blood is just colored sweat. You know, it's it's damage, but it's just it, it, it's cosmetic, so to speak, when it comes to scoring, or it's supposed to be more or less. Uh, the cut is what you score, not the blood. Now, Danny had his own straight right hand and a left hook scored in that, so the damage was kind of a wash. That is why I gave round four to Danny via wrestling dominance. Now, round five, kind of tricky. You know, I wrote a couple things here. Now, it started to go Stott's way a little bit, even though Danny was controlling after the takedown. It started. Why did it start going Stott's way? Stott started throwing those elbows like this, but then the ref deemed them, deemed them illegal, okay, because he was hitting the back of the head. So a lot of those strikes really aren't going to be scored because they're in the back of the head. And they weren't damaging strikes. They were stay busy strikes, okay? Danny landed a few of those himself, all right, while he's in dominant position with the wrestling, all right? So he's in control. Uh, now, again, there was another standup towards the end where both guys landed. A couple of front kicks landed, a couple knees by Danny as well. I felt the striking was a wash regardless. Danny won round that, that round for that. Now, um, so then we go to the judges. Now, like I said, I have it. I have the score rounds one, four, and five. Two of the judges saw three rounds to two. I didn't really look what, which one yet. I didn't even see who was judging for Rufio. Now, why is this? This is where the controversy comes in. Based on what I just explained, the, it, it was clear that they were favoring striking. All right, they, they weren't looking to decipher if it was a wrestling round or a grappling round. It's not wrestling, it's grappling. It's all grappling and it's martial arts. I make that mistake saying that all the time. They didn't differentiate whether it was a striking round or a grappling round. They were clearly looking for striking, which in those in that iffy rounds, Rufian Stotts landed more of. But there wasn't enough there. And they, we don't score significant strikes. Okay, that's the other thing is these judges were they look like they were caught up in that. Usually these judges are pretty good there, especially in Connecticut. You know, I know I'm a homer with Connecticut, but it was clear last night that the judges were favoring significant strikes. Probably even thrown, not even landed. Thrown would be volume. Volume would count as duration, which is the bottom rung below dominance. You know, it goes damage, dominance, duration. Grappling dominance beats striking duration. That is why Danny won those close rounds. That's why I think this is a controversial decision. It, it wasn't it wasn't the robbery that people were making it seem to be, but Danny won. I was confident Danny was going to get his hand raised. Well, even though I knew the decision. You know, I'm trying to throw that behind me. I was confident Danny had done enough to win that fight. 
that's what I got, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm going to have another video probably Sunday for the UFC. Uh, have a good one, guys. Good night.